Hey, thanks for clicking. John Fole at the Banjo Studio in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, passing along some tips and tricks and experience from years of playing music. Uh, I'm going to talk about turnarounds today and uh, give you some ideas for some different voicings on some turnarounds. Um, and what a turnaround is, is it's, we'll talk about the 12-bar blues. The turnaround is going to usually be the last two bars. And what it does is a little phrase to get you back to the top of the form for another verse or an instrumental verse or whatever. And so you have a little phrase to turn the form around. And it's usually nice to have different turnarounds within a song so that you kind of, you know, it doesn't always sound the same. Sometimes you has to be the same turnaround. Everybody's doing the same thing. But if you're playing by yourself or with, you know, one other instrument or accompanying a singer, Playing different turnarounds is kind of a nice way to um, add variety to what you're doing. So I'm going to just play in A, the simplest forms of a blues. Here's a 12-bar blues, and I'll point out the turnaround when I get there. Going to the four chord. Back to the one, the A. To E, the five. Here's the turnaround. So then you go back to the top of the form. So that's the simplest little turnaround, just walking down from the fifth fret. Heard it in a million blues songs. If you want to add a little bit to that and make it sound a little bigger sometimes, what I like to do is add this A note on the top on your E string on the 5th fret with your pinky. And keep that going while you do that little turnaround. It's a bit of a stretch, but you can work on it. Another thing you can do is just ride on your B string, just parallel with your D string. That's a nice thing to do. Uh, if you want to get really tricky, when you're going down on your D string, like that, make it where you're going up on your B string. So. so try those out. 